do that. Yeah, Smash doesn't adhere to that, so. <laughs> there we go. Maybe Lila again. Yeah. It's a wonderful stage for Olimar. It allows him to basically throw his Pikmin almost unhindered, especially depending on the tilt. Like, they just kind of ride along, and it can make your Pikmin go a lot farther. Absolutely. Now, Dr. B is just going to want to keep up this pressure. He wants to be in Olimar's space. Olimar has very little tools for getting out of the disadvantage state. Oh, uh, he's trying to get that purple. Yeah, there we go. We got the purple. purple. Oh, okay. Down tilt? <laughs> he's just down tilt is so good. What is he down tilting? What is he doing? He's trying to throw out a hitbox. That's something that he does in the matchup to where he's like, okay, I'm going to down tilt. And because Captain Falcon, because of the way the Pikmin are, since they're just projectiles, he can rush in with a hitbox, and a lot of the times he'll just go through the Pikmin. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Just throwing out forward smashes. Oh my gosh! He's Almost so lying right there! That was a 50%! Oh, and he missed his attack! attack. Well, my Dr. B is just going in here as quickly as he can. He cannot release that pressure and showing the blind spot of the grab that Olimar has. It doesn't have a grab box right oh, really? next to Olimar, yes. And it makes grabbing out a shield incredibly hard. If not impossible in most cases. We're gonna see. Uh, nope, not quite yet. Oh, what are what are Olimar's confirms? Uh, the thing with Olimar, like he doesn't necessarily have as many confirms outside of like some silly things, like out of air into down smash or something. Oh, really? He's more of like a kill potential character, kill where potential. he's getting these F smashes, he's getting these up throws. He has the powerful Pikmin, absolutely. Right. And something I want, I kind of wanted to utilize the purple Pikmin in this matchup as a side beat, trying to cut off Falcon before he has that really quick hitbox coming out here. But Dr. B is just doing a wonderful job staying in this man's space. Alright. Dr. B does not have to approach here, but the blue Pikmin not quite going to take it. Yep, is that up throw right? or down throw? Uh, that is up throw. Up throw is the one that kills with you. Yeah, still keeping that blue on deck, the next up throw probably will take it. Especially with a little bit more rage. Right. He needs to be careful not to just haphazardly throw that blue, because Dr. B can always just straight up kill it. Yeah, just need the blue. Oh, <laughs> that's it? Oh, the back, back throw. throw taking it. Wow. Yeah, not as, like, cool kill move as up throw. But still just as powerful with the blue picture. Absolutely. Yeah. It can occasionally kill. Up throw? No. Dude, this music is amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to... Well, we have a bounty a hunter out. versus an astronaut fighting on the back of a spaceship. I've like how much? Yeah. Box, unfortunately. <laughs> how much sci-fi do you want? So much. So much. Sci-fi. Oh, the back air right there is gonna take that mm -hmm. first game going to Cerberus is Doctor B. Good stuff. Um, I I'm almost positive we won't see a counter pick. I don't think he plays. He, does he second? Does so Fushi? Yeah. He also plays Rosalina really? and Marth, but his Olimar is by far his best character. Yeah. And he's just going to go back to the stage. Yeah, especially in top eight. I don't think, it, I don't think it's the time to be testing out your secondaries. One, right. This is what got you here. And Tried true. Just stick with it. If it ain't broke, right? Unless you're Phenom. <laughs> if you're Phenom, just go ahead and do what you do. Play Ninja. <laughs> All right, nice. Oh, that blue Pinkman. Really being a nuisance right there on Dr. B. I'm wondering why he's not going for like double jab out of the down tilt. I'm pretty sure that's kind of confirmed, especially in like a fast faller. On Olimar? At least it, um, with the Olimar. Oh, with Olimar. Yeah, like on the Falcon, something like that. Uh, and you can get the grab out of jab jab. It's a really quick option for Olimar as well. Oh, okay. He can act out of his up B. Yes, Correct. he can. Awesome. Uh, however, it does put him to free fall, so that may be why he's a little bit scared to do it. Or he's just focusing. In Wait, if you attack out of up B, it's, it puts you free fall? Yep. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. However, Nair has such little landing lag, so it's a really safe option for him to do. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. What is that? No. I don't know if he went past the ledge on purpose there or if that was like a, a replay. And it's a replay of uh, Phenom and Cheese Baller. Well, he got back onto the stage. Oh, missing the tech again, and, and it's going to take him off the side. You have to tech those, especially at this level, in top right. eight. And it's a pretty telegraphed move to tech. No, absolutely. Like, you see the timing on that, and That's just kind of fill it out. Falcon bread and butter, run off stage back there. Ooh, 
like that's how I was saying, is that a lot of moves, like that dash attack, just kind of go through Pikmin. They're considered projectiles and catching that up smash looking like Shoe Tone. Absolutely. That up smash is extremely powerful, especially with that purple Pikmin online. But the way Olimar works, and one of his main weaknesses, especially against really fast characters, is that his Pikmin moves are considered projectiles, to where they don't actually trade. You lose the hitbox, and Olimar gets hit. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> you know how much? How many frames of Super Armor does that? Six count frames. Be it's six frames? from six to twelve. And it's just to recall all oh, his Pikmin, right? Yes. He almost lost the purple because it's really finicky. Pikmin do not like to listen, and occasionally will just fall to their small, flowery demise. It's it's so sad, especially when like a Pikmin just gets wrecked, and it's just you know like. Ooh. Wow, that down tilt, taking it. Olimar is incredibly light. That's why he's so floaty. This man is just perpetually in zero gravity. You know, I don't know if Dr. B has fought any Olimars. Maybe he just, maybe he played friendlies. I, I have no idea his matchup knowledge in this particular instance. I'm not too familiar. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I haven't kept up with Olimar since I dropped the character. So, do you play Olimar? I did, I did. yes. He was my... I was originally a Mii main, then went to Olimar, then went back to Mii's. Free the Mii's. Yes, but not <laughs> enough about me and my favorite characters, <laughs> because there. we have to wonder what Toku is going to do in this position. Yeah, stick yeah. with it. Yeah. Try to counterpick to a stage he likes better. We're going to Battlefield. Uh, a lot of people kind of consider, like recently, people have been considering this to be one of Olimar's one, best stages because go. of like his charging capabilities with up air. Yeah. Sort of auto cancels. However, Olimar has such trouble landing, and Captain Falcon gets so much out of these top platforms where it's basically a double edged sword, and Olimar is basically perpetually falling on it. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, just trying to tick tack some damage on right here, throwing the Pikmin at Dr. B. And it's working so far, but the down tilt's going to get some stage control. Going to give him a lot of room to just kind of run around, throw around those Pikmin. Nice. All right, purple Pikmin online. We might see a. Oh, oh the two that frame. Now, I'm sure those that was a two frame. Right, those wafer thin, just the wafer thin legends, yes. absolutely. Make just, it out really oh, easier. He, he all these wants it again. He's, he, he, he wants it. He's hungry. He's, he's fishing. <laughs> he tried to knee that pigment, dude. What a mean guy. I mean, it will automatically kill him if you get that sweet spot. Oh, but oh Toshi son, catching his hands, it. chopping him up, mm -hmm. chopping him up like some pig pick carrots. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh, the rapid jab right there. Opting. I don't know why you opted for the rapid jab. I mean, I feel like Gentleman is better in almost every scenario. Well, you get to uh, sort of have it out longer in case some Pikmin just kind of sneaks yes, up on you. That's true. That's true. Ooh. Oh, I thought we were going to see the back throw. Yes. Tokushi has to be really careful about not rolling. That's something him as a player always does. Because whenever he starts to panic and gets into a really high pressure yes, situation, absolutely. he rolls. Rolls across the dang screen. I noticed that yesterday when he was playing doubles. And Captain Falcon, such a great character to just kind of capitalize on that. He can yeah. follow you. He can chase you down. Yeah, he's got that speed, dude. Now Becker will start killing on the ledge. Oh, didn't fastball that down there right there. But the gentleman going to get into the stage control. Possibly an edge guard situation. Oh, fourth throw? No, going for the DI mix-up, but doesn't quite get there enough time in time for the up air. I think forward throw oh, would have just killed. Grab. Oh, he's going underneath! But it doesn't matter. Again, yeah. he doesn't tech it. He got to tech those. This man had no invincibility from the re-grab onto the ledge, thinking that he'd be safe, but... Yeah, dude, the man. last stock of every game in that set, he didn't have an L or an R button. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he was probably expecting, like, a spike on that. Like, he knew I he was, was expecting coming. a yeah, spike. He was right above him, 